Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Z. I'm a clinical psychologist specializing in transgender care. Welcome to my channel. Today, I would like to discuss with you the psychological effects that a current environment, current anti-transgender legislation, current um, anti-trans um, discourse that is taking place has on you and how to spot it. And I am also going to offer you things that you can do to help yourself during this very, very difficult time. I'm making this video not so much to overwhelm you with realizing how this might be impacting you psychologically, but to lend you to having a realization uh, of effects it has so that we can spot it and you can also actively practice self-care to help you deal with it. So let's start out by saying that today, as all of you know, this is obviously not going to be anything new to you. There is a lot of anti-trans um, rhetoric going on uh, in the world. There's a lot of it going on here on my YouTube channel. One only has to look in the comment section. And I recently did a podcast, uh, an amazing uh, podcast uh, channel called Gender Reveal. And the interviewer asked me this question. And when I thought about it, it gave me goosebumps because it touches at the core of really how much it affects all of you. You don't even have to engage in news. You don't have to be one reading negative comments on Twitter platforms or anywhere else to collectively feel the energy shifts in regards to uh, transgender individuals. I think there's some things that is happening so collectively and is bound to affect you even if you're isolating yourself, even if you're not paying attention to any of the things, somehow energetically you are bound to pick up on that. And when you live in a world where right now is a state of uh, anti-trans um, content is being so heightened and the world is telling you that you don't exist and the world is telling you you don't belong here and the world by giving you all of those sig signifiers is ultimately telling your even unconsciousness that you are the other. It can psychologically take a toll on you. The metaphor that I used in Generative Podcast is akin to going outside. And here you are, you get yourself together, you want to go about your life, mind your business. But the minute you go outside, you have um, the collective um, anti-trans uh, crap that is beating you um, internally again and again and again. And you're taking that beating um again and again and again and by the time you come home your internal self your internal especially self in regards to gender identity is bruised it aches it pains it hurts and that the experience in of itself is going to lead is bound to live is inevitable to lead to feelings of depression where you just want to go to bed and stay in bed. It's going to make it very difficult for a lot of you to get out of bed. It's going to make it very difficult for you to face uh, the next day. And the reason why it's very difficult for you, because who would want to face going out there and getting punched internally again and again and again? If I were experiencing this, I would want to stay in bed too. So it makes it very difficult for people. Uh, it brings up anxiety, the depression. I mean, the anxiety tends to really go up. The depression goes up. The need to isolate goes up. Some people start self-harming. Some people start thinking, you know, thoughts of uh, doing harmful things to themselves because it's very draining to live in a world that drains you psychically to such a big extent. And apart from beating the internal that is in of itself is tremendous one of the biggest things i think the anti-trans rhetoric does to trans individuals and one of the most horrific things is psychically killing your spirit in my opinion psychically killing someone's spirit is the worst thing you can do to a human being it's even worse than physically taking somebody's life. When you kill a spirit psychically, you rob that person of any hope, of any dreams, of any aspirations. When we think back what happened during the Holocaust, we can see and understand how many individuals had their spirit annihilated. This is why people just gave up thriving and living in concentration camps because their spirit got annihilated. 
I see the same thing happening today to trans folks where their spirit is getting killed psychically. When a person's spirit is dead, it's very difficult to revive it. It's very difficult to breathe fire and life back into the spirit and make it alive again. And all of you watching this, I'm sharing this with you because I do not want your spirit to be killed. I do not want your spirit to be annihilated by everything else that's going on. So what do we do? What do you do when you live in this world that punches you again and again and again? How do you preserve yourself during these difficult times? First and foremost, I want to say that, you know, transgender um, rights and a right and thrive and fight to exist and to live and to have a right to dignity and human rights is a fight. And it has been a fight. And every time as a fight, it goes up, it goes down, right? We, we get something and then something tremendous gets yanked away from us. What I'm saying is that I do believe this too is going to pass. I do believe things are going to get better. So it's imperative to believe that things are going to be get better. And right now, because it's so bad, doesn't mean it's going to continue to be bad. Number two. I want you all to recognize that it may feel like the whole world against you. The reality is that not the whole world is against you. What against you are people that have platform and voice to vocalize and a trans rhetoric. And they amplify it. And by amplifying it, they make it feel as if the whole world is against you. And in reality, that is not true. There's many people in the world who either completely don't care and think you have every right to live your life, whether they agree or disagree about your way of existing. And there's a lot of people who deeply, deeply empathize and sympathize with all of you. So I want to stress it enough that it may feel like that, but that's not the case. Number three, the most important, how, what can you do for yourself? For starters, spot the effects of this external on your life. And the way you can spot it is this. Have you noticed your depression getting worse? Have you noticed yourself suddenly feeling depressed? Have you noticed yourself um, wanting to avoid interactions with other people because you fear of how you're going to be perceived? If you notice all of the things, it's a sign. What can you do? First and foremost, boundaries. Very, very strong boundaries. If you are reading news daily, anti-trans news, anti-trans legislation, anti-trans all that stuff, Set a boundary. Allow yourself to be informed. Pick maybe one form of medium that shares it in objective and mindful manner, but limit your interactions with it. If you're somebody that sees somebody negatively commenting on the channel and you want to engage with them to prove them wrong or on any other platform, Twitter or otherwise, don't. You, by stepping in, it's so quickly to catapult yourself into negativity and be sucked by that negative energy the other one projects. Protect your energy. Your energy, your time, you yourself are value. Protect yourself. If you're not going to protect yourself, nobody's going to protect you. Surround yourself by allies. Whether they're trans or cis, surround yourself by allies who are using platforms to support you, to elevate you, to give you guidance, to give you answers, just to be there for you. People who show up every day on a content of any kind, Instagram, Facebook, and share something of themselves with all of you. And by doing so, they're also communicating to you, I am here. If I exist, you exist too. If I'm talking about you, then you matter. So surround yourself by those people. Surround yourself by other people and role models that aim to elevate overall humanity up versus destroying it down. Imperative. You wake up, you're feeling challenging, you're feeling depressed, you're brushing your teeth, put on a positive podcast. You're driving in a car, put on a positive uh, podcast. Read. Endorse yourself in an in lighthearted and a very warm novel. Endorse yourself in fantastic film, in something lovely. Watch Eat, Pray, Love. One of my, I like that one, Julia Roberts. 
indulge yourself in those things, but surround yourself by the energies that can amplify your, your positivity versus surrounding yourself by the energy that is negative and going to tear you down. This is what you can do. You will make it through this period. You will. Because you're more resilient than you realize. We're all going to make it through this period. And there's no way, in my opinion, to eradicate trans folks. I, it's just the idea of it is stupid. So do all of that. Take care of yourself. Recognize when the world has punched you and when you need to start practicing self-care. Do not allow anybody ever kill your spirit and be there for each other. This is the best that I can offer. I'm here for you. This platform is here for you. I always say, if you want to vent, email me and vent. I'll never judge you for venting, no matter what you say in venting. I know it's very difficult right now. Be there for each other, okay? So comment below. Feel free to share. How has all of this been impacting you? Most importantly, share what have you been doing to help yourself during this period and what has been shown to be effective for you so that somebody else can also aim to do the same thing for themselves. Comment below and take care of yourself. I will see you all next time. Bye.